Every step of the journey toward becoming a Marine is carefully planned out, from the somewhat relaxing early morning bus ride to your first encounter with a drill instructor. Get out of my hell footprints now, hurry up! Let's go, get over there, four o'clock! When the recruit's given an order by a drill instructor, then he's gonna instantly and obediently obey all orders that's given to him. The words me, my, and I are no longer in your vocabulary. This recruit would describe this experience as the best experience of this recruit's life. And much of every recruit's life aboard the island is spent on the parade deck practicing drill. A closer to drill is another intricate part of the recruit training process. Drill is stressed during each of the three phases of recruit training. It not only teaches teamwork, but discipline as well. Discipline could potentially save someone's life in combat. Combat preparation and weapons training are also stressed, right along with stress itself. These are intense, sir. Um, here at Paris Island, there's a lot to get used to. IT or incentive training can last as long as eight minutes. But really, it only takes one minute to get my point across to a recruit that he probably doesn't want to make the same mistake twice. Right? Okay, so, right right Marine Corps boot camp is physical, psychological, and extremely Stop! intense. Stop my second morning, sir! Go away! By the end of the third phase of boot camp, recruits will have been taught almost everything needed to become a basically trained Marine. But there is one final test. The training of these young recruits culminates in a 54-hour series of exercises called the Crucible. Events like pugil sticks help stress individual as well as team strengths. During the 54 hours of the Crucible, recruits hike a total of 40 miles. They eat no more than three meals, and they only sleep eight hours. It is brutal, but when it's over, each will have earned the title of United States Marine. Paris Island is like no other place in the world, and unfortunately, the Marines who train here rarely get the opportunity to appreciate its beauty. It is a place everyone should visit at least once in their lifetime. After all, it is where they make Marines.